Over the past six months, I've been collecting items and clothing that I've needed from my local op shops. And up until now, these are a few of the things that I've collected. I prefer to buy my clothes or really anything that I need second hand first if I can find it as it helps to reduce the amount of waste being thrown away. Buying in op shops reduces the reliance on fast fashion which is basically just cheap poor quality clothes often made from unethical practices in unsafe work environments and working conditions. Buying clothes from an op shop reduces your own carbon footprint and helps prevent clothes from ending up in landfill. I only recently learnt this, but op shop is actually short for opportunity shop. There are close to over 2,500 charity op shops across Australia. If I can't find what I'm looking for secondhand at thrift stores, I'll then look online at some of the secondhand forums like Depop or Facebook Marketplace, which is incidentally actually where I found my bike from. But if I still have no luck finding it there, I'll purchase it new in store. I'll always shop for quality, something that will last me a long time, even if it does come at a higher cost. According to the Clean Up Australia website, every 10 minutes, Australians dump 15 tonnes of clothing and fabric waste. That adds up to over 800,000 tonnes, or 31 kilograms, per person every year. Every year, the price of clothing continues to drastically decrease, while the negative impacts to the environment as a result of the fast fashion industry continue to increase. According to Greenpeace, the average person buys 60% more clothing and keeps them for about half as long as 15 years ago. The fashion industry is one of the highest polluting industries. It's responsible for an estimated 10% of global carbon emissions. Australia is actually one of the biggest contributors to fashion pollution, as it's now only second to the US. Op shopping or thrifting for me means I can find really good quality, even designer items for a quarter of the cost and the best part is it gives clothes a second life. Hello everyone, so I thought I'd share my latest op shop haul collection that I've just sort of gathered over the past six months. Again, I don't op shop all that much because I only buy something that I actually need at the time when I need it. So if I find something that I need that I don't have, I'll go out and find and sort of look around for that. So I'll keep searching and searching until I can sort of find it. I don't tend to just do like lots of impulse buys or like um, just, you know, random purchases and stuff just for like, I guess the sake of shopping. I tend to try and be like minimalist as possible. One, because I find if you have so much stuff, I feel like it just clutters your mind. Like I find if I have a lot of things that I'm trying to sort of juggle and organize and make space for, it just feels like it's clutters, it clutters my mind. So I feel like less for me is best. So I'll only buy what I need. So this is what I've needed <laughs> over the past six months. So we'll get straight into it. I am trialing a new mic that my sister just gave me. So hopefully it captures it all right. This is the first time I'm using it. So I'm hoping the sound is a lot clearer. Fingers crossed that it is. I'll find out when I'm editing this video. <laughs> I just found some random stuff in my pockets, like face mask from when I was on the plane yesterday. Anyway, <laughs> let's get to it. Where should I put you guys? Where it has like, you can see me in the background. Um, so, because my room is so small, I can't get like a proper viewpoint of my whole body. I'll see if you guys will sit there and I will brighten you up so that I don't look like a dark shadow. And you can see all the stuff on my table. <laughs> That'll do. That'll do, Donker. So, the reason why I'm going for this kind of interesting look, I actually saw one of these girls riding their bikes on the beach, well near the beach, along the path near there when I was riding mine and she had this sort of very kind of see-through white kind of collared kind of shirt and she had a swimsuit on and like shorts and I just thought it looked super beachy but again because <laughs> I don't want to go to all the designer places and try and buy it new. I was trying to look for what's already there at the op shop so I kind of went to the men's section and got an oversized kind of collared shirt to wear and I was like I could even just wear this to the beach and like just in my swimmers and just wear this like as like a throw thing like throw over the top kind of look and that's what I was kind of going for with this. I got two. I got this one which is in white and then I got one sort of like a greeny colour and that is the green one. So I changed into jeans so I could show you both with jeans kind of shorts and jean jeans. <laughs> so this is what I was kind of thinking. Um, just have this sort of open shirt. You can also sort of do it up as well. 
like so sort of thing. Um, again, it's not everyone's style and in past videos people have said, oh, you know, like I don't really like that. I'm like, well, that's fine. You don't have to wear it. It's for me anyway. So this is sort of what I was kind of going for. I thought I could even like have it out or like had it before, kind of roughly just like tuck it in. Sort of like that. And just a bit of a different kind of look, different style. And it's a bit great in summer. Probably not now because we've had just like a polar blast come through. So as I'm doing this, I'm actually freezing. <laughs> it's really cold. But in summer, I was thinking this would be like a great little sort of light thing to wear. And again, you can wear it just over my swimmers and like a light throw over thing. And yeah, that's what I was sort of going for. So this was my first purchase. Two shirts, one white, one in this kind of olivey green. Not even olive, just like a greeny colour. And both these shirts were $8 each. So these were from Vinnie's. And I like shopping at Vinnie's because it's like a charity shop. The money goes towards a certain charity. I can't remember off the top of my head which one. Um, but yeah, so second hand, second life, giving some money towards others as well during the purchase. I think makes me feel good inside. I've got to share this before. I also wanted to do like a little tie up, little knot. Super in at the moment. It's like a little kind of knot in the front. Super cute to wear like that, maybe not double knot it. It's something like this. <laughs> Getting a lot of like kind of cowgirl vibes with the jeans and the, the bow. Um, but yeah, so sort of like that as well. Kind of tie up in a knot, same with the green shirt. Sort of style it if I don't want to wear it out. Bring it into a little knot. Yeah. So that was my vibe with it as well. This is one of my absolute favourite purchases. <gasps> this baggy jumper. Again, I think it's a, a men's. <laughs> I like the baggy style. In case you didn't know. <laughs> the brand is JJ's. And I think it's a very old one because I haven't seen them around for a while. These kind of jumpers. So <laughs> this is what it looks like. My baggy jumper. I love it. I love it. I wear it everywhere. Like, this has been probably my most worn purchase this winter. It's so snug. And I just love how it's oversized because you can just basically curl up inside it. Like, put the sleeves over, bring the knees up when you're sitting down. And it's just so warm. It's, like, so warm. Surprisingly warm for something so thin. This was pretty much <laughs> my recent, most recent purchase. That and this awesome, sorry I had hair on me, <laughs> that and this awesome denim bag, oh, I love it so much. So it's actually made from an old pair of jeans. It has so many pockets, like it even has the zipper from the jeans at the front here. Oh no, sorry, it's at the back. So that's like the front of the jeans and that's like the zipper that you do up at the front. It does unzip but it's just, there's nothing really there. And then these are pockets, there's so many pockets. To do it up, you just tighten the straps here and bring the top over and it clips onto the front. And you can also tighten the back straps, which I do sometimes. The only thing is it does tend to sort of, if something's heavy in there, the straps will loosen a little bit, so I have to keep tightening them. But this is my new backpack. <laughs> what do you think? So it's such a cool idea to reuse old jeans that may not be able to be donated or used again. So that was how much was it? So this denim pack, 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 pack. so this denim backpack was twenty three dollars, no twenty five dollars, sorry, it's twenty five dollars, and it was also from Vinnie's. And I was looking for a new backpack because my old one actually, I'll show you this old this old one that I've had since two thousand fourteen, I think around then was when I graduated high school, and. <laughs> That was around then, and I've had it has lasted me so long. But in the recent years, the tops just come off like I've had to keep sewing it and sewing. It. I was like, it's not gonna last too much longer, and yeah, it's sort of beyond donating. So I'm sort of waiting and looking at ways and <laughs> to recycle backpacks so that it doesn't end up in landfill. So at the moment, it's just waiting idly in my room <laughs> till I can decide what to do with it. So hence, that's why I got my new backpack. Last but not least, is the sports bra that I bought from Vinnie's as well. Yes, all from Vinnie's actually. Uh, I really like it. It was six dollars. It's Rockwear brand and I just really like this type of sports bra especially because when I go outside 
not something so like so much on me because it's really hot in summer like so humid so this is perfect just to sort of wear with some sports shorts and I do my exercises in that and it's just really like comfy I reckon I could wear this all day if it wasn't so cold so yeah that is pretty much my op shop haul for the first half of 2022 <laughs> yeah I hope you guys enjoyed my op shop haul share today let me know if you guys have found some recent op shop like finds and purchases and what you guys buy if you op shop as well love love to hear about it I love hearing what people get at the op shop I just find it's like the markets you always find the coolest things there and I love giving something like a second life that's probably one of the most things that like I like about op shopping is like not like kind of giving it another chance rather than going to landfill especially if it's in really good condition which a lot of the things are yeah pretty much my spiel for today so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you for sticking out this whole video if you're still here with me I really appreciate it and I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and yeah thank you so much you guys are such a supportive community I read your comments sorry if I don't get back to everybody I do see them and if I do see them I tend to give them a like and a heart just so that you guys know that I have seen it and haven't been able to reply so thank you so so much I it means so much to me to have you guys here watching my videos. It really inspires me to keep going. Do let me know if you want to see more of my Upshop hauls in the future. I do try and wait until I have enough things to share rather than just get one thing and be like, here's my new thing that I got. Yeah. Otherwise, I have some more exciting videos coming up in the future, so do stick around. Thank you again so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. So much with all my heart. Thank you so much for watching and being here today. It really means a lot to me. I hope you guys stick around for the next video and hope to see you again soon. Bye.